everyone and welcome to today's session about AWS Management Console. Before we go ahead, let's have a look into today's agenda. Firstly, we will learn how to set up an AWS account. Then, we will learn how to set up alarms before our free usage is exceeded. After that, we will briefly discuss AWS services and ways to access the same. And then, we will discuss other navigation bar options available in the AWS Management Console like the bell icon, the account options, selecting your region and help and support. Then finally, we will look at the various options available to view the billing details related to our account. But before we go ahead, if you like our video, please do not forget to subscribe the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon to never miss an update from us. Also, if you are looking for an online training certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. So let's begin. AWS Management Console is a web interface for managing AWS resources. It provides access to all the various services offered by AWS. It also provides information related to our account like billing. The AWS Management Console provides easy access to services and resources and does not require prior expertise in APIs and SDKs. Firstly, let us know how to set up an AWS account. Since I have already signed up for an AWS account, you can see that I only need to sign in. But if you're a first time user, you need to sign up for the AWS account first. To set up an AWS account, follow these steps. First, navigate to the given URL. In step 1, enter your email ID and password. In step 2, enter your debit card details. Now, AWS does not charge for services and resources used up to the free limit. We enter the debit card details as it wants to ensure that you are a legit user with a legit bank account. Next, enter your phone number to receive the verification code. Next, enter the verification code you have received. AWS provides four support plans, basic, developer, business and enterprise. Since we are just beginning, I have chosen the basic support plan. You can choose any support plan and complete the sign up process. This is how we set up our AWS account. Now, you must be thinking, what if we exceed the free usage limit? In that case, you also have the option to set up alarms before free usage exceeds. You can keep a check on the charges of AWS services. The charges for AWS services are estimated and sent several times daily to CloudWatch. The alarm can be set for a user-defined threshold limit. When the charges exceed this limit, the alarm alerts the user. Before we set up alarms, we need to enable the billing alerts. To enable billing alerts, you must be signed in to the AWS Management Console. For consolidated accounts, the user can view the billing information for each of the linked accounts if he is logged in as the paying user. You cannot view those members' accounts' billing information which are part of the Amazon Partner Network as billing matrix for APN accounts are not published to CloudWatch. It is important to note that once enabled, the billing alerts cannot be disabled. To enable billing alerts, follow the steps as shown. Navigate to the CloudWatch console. In the navigation pane, select alarms. Since I've already enabled alarms, but you need to check the checkbox for receive billing alert and click on save preferences. The billing alerts will be enabled. To create billing alarms, follow the steps as shown. Navigate to the CloudWatch console and change the region to North Virginia, that is US East. In the navigation pane, select matrix, then all matrix then select billing and total estimated charge. Check the checkbox next to US dollars. Go to the graph matrix tab and click on the create alarm icon. The create alarm page is displayed. Choose the threshold type and whenever estimated charges is as what you want. Then define the threshold limit. I have defined it as 200 US dollars. Then click next and we reach the step two. Select the alarm state trigger and select an SNS topic. Enter the email ID where you want to receive your notification. Then click Next. Enter the name and description for your alarm and click Next. In the Preview and Create page, verify the information and conditions and click on Create Alarm. The alarm will be created, as you can see. To delete a billing alarm, follow the steps as shown. Open the CloudWatch console and ensure that the region is US East, that is North Virginia. In the Navigation pane, choose All Alarms and check the checkbox next to the alarm you want to delete. In the Actions drop-down, click on Delete, and in the Prompt box, click Delete again. The alarm is deleted. 
Now let us talk about the services offered by AWS and ways to access those. There are three ways to access the AWS services. The first one is through the search box. In the search box, type the service that you need. The next is through the recently visited section. The services accessed recently appear in the recently visited section on the home page. You can access the service from there. The third is through the services option. Click on the services option on the screen and see all services. There are a range of services offered which are classified into different categories as you can see. You can access any service from here. Next on the navigation pane we have the search box. As we have already seen, in the search box, you can type for the service or resource that you need. Next on the navigation pane, we have the AWS Cloud Shell. It is a browser-based shell that enables the user to manage the AWS resources. Some Cloud Shell features include direct access to command line, pre-installed development tools, and sharing of files. Now let us look at some advantages of Cloud Shell. They include that it works well with AWS management console functions, it is automatically updated. There is no cost for up to 1 GB of storage and the environment can be customized and retained. AWS also provides us with some tutorials. For example, you can learn how to launch a virtual machine. As you can see, there are some tutorials of small durations that help you perform different tasks through the AWS Management Console. All these are available under the Builder Solution title on the home page. Some common tutorials include launch a virtual machine, build a web app, build using virtual server, register a domain, connect to an IoT service, and start migrating to AWS. Next on the navigation pane, we have the bell icon. Any issues, scheduled changes, or other notifications appear when we click the bell icon. It has the following features. Open issues, scheduled changes, other notifications, and event log. In the account option on the navigation pane, the information related to your account is available. My account displays the details of the user. If the user is connected to several other users, they are arranged in an organization, and the organization's details are displayed. You can also view service quotas, billing dashboard, and security credentials. Next, you have the option to choose your country and region. Certain services are global, which means they are available globally from anywhere while there are a few other services that are exclusive to a particular region only. AWS Management Console also provides you help and support for your problems and queries. Support Center is available where we can resolve our doubts. We can seek expert help. There are forums where we can discuss our queries. There is documentation, training, and getting started resource center. You can also view details related to your account's billing information. You can view bills, orders and invoices, credit, purchase orders, cost and usage report, cost categories, etc. This brings us to the end of today's session. I hope now you have a better understanding of the AWS Management Console and the various features offered in it. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!